Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad exponential equation problem and here we have 2 to the power of m plus 4 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m equals to 155 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here you remember one thing is that our m belongs to n, m belongs to real number r. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as we have 2 to the power of m plus here we have 4 to the power of m and we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power m plus we write this 8 as 2 cubed and its whole power m equals to 155. So uh, now in the next step here uh, we have we use the exponential law and we write these two terms as here we just interchange these two exponents and we write it as 2 to the power of m and its whole square plus here we interchange these two exponents and we write 2 to the power of m and its whole cubed equals to 155. So now in the next step, uh, you see here each term involved 2 to the power of m so that we take uh, y equals to 2 to the power of m. So when we substitute y equals 2 to the power of m on each of these terms, then we get here y plus y square plus y cubed equals to 155. So in the next step here uh, we need to rearrange these terms and we write it as y cubed plus y squared plus y and we move this 155 in the left hand side and it will becomes minus 155 equals to 0. So now this equation will become cubic in y variable so here we need some uh, substitution. So here we substitute this y square equals to uh, 6y square minus 5y square because 6 minus 5 becomes plus y square and after that we substitute uh, this y equals to uh, minus 30y plus 31y because minus 30 plus 31 equals to plus y and we substitute this 155 equals to 31 multiplied by 5 because 31 times of 5 equals to 155 so uh, in order to make the factors of this cubic equation we need these changes or in other method you just use the synthetic division in order to solve this cubic equation so though this is the a second method so i think so this is very simple way to make the factors of this equation so that here uh, first we write y cubed plus this is y square we substitute it here and we write it as minus 5 y square plus 6 y square and this is plus y and we write it as minus 30 y plus 31 y and we write this minus 155 equals to 31 times of 5 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step you see here uh, we take common y square from both of these terms and we get here y minus 5 plus here we take common 6y and we get y minus 5 plus here we take common 31 and we get y minus 5 equals to 0. So you see here each uh, term involves the factor y minus 5 so that we take common y minus 5 here and we get y square plus 6y plus here you get 31 equals to 0. So that here we have uh, two cases so our First case is we take y minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square plus 6y plus 31 equals to 0. So in the start of the problem uh, we see one thing is that we solve this problem for the real values of m. So that now here first we check is this quadratic equation has 
real roots or not by using the discriminant formula so here first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c equals to 31 and our discriminant formula is written as b square minus 4 times of ac so now we substitute all these three values here and we get 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 31 so you get here 6 square is 36 minus 4 times of 31 equals to 124 so 36 minus 124 is clearly see that this is less than 0 so this shows that our delta is less than 0 so this means that if indiscriminate we our delta is less than 0 this shows that uh, this equation cannot have a real root so we just write it has no real roots so if it has no real roots then we rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only and in this case we have y minus 5 equals to 0 so you get here y equals to 5 and now uh, in the start of the problem we take our y equals to 2 to the power of m so now we back substitute this value of y here and we get 2 to the power of m equals to 5 so that now first we copy down this value here so it is 2 to the power of m equals to 5 and now we need to find the value of m so that here first we take log on both of the sides of this equation so it will become log of 2 to the power of m equals to log of 5 so here we use the nice property of logarithm and we know that if you have exponent inside the log so we move this exponent in the front of this log so we write it as m times of log 2 equals to log 5 so now here uh, in the next step we move this log 2 to the right hand side so it will be written as m equals to log of 5 divided by log of 2. So we have another property of log it is uh, very well written in this form if you have log b over log a so we write it as log base a into b. So now we use this nice property of log here so that we write this expression as m equals to log of base 2 into 5. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.